Local law enforcement are requesting additional information before okaying the purchase of a second ambulance for the City of Jamestown Fire Department. Our Bronson Rasmussen joins us live from the newsroom with more on the likelihood of this additional ambulance purchase. Bronson? Justin, the vehicle itself costs $150,000 with an additional $100,000 needed in equipment. The final purchase would be a similar build to the city's current ambulance. Our intent would be that whichever vendor we ultimately, you know, receive a bid from or multiples, whichever, whoever the bid is awarded to, we would certainly request that they would install their load system as part of the package. Um, the extrication device, the stair chair, that's a separate piece also. Currently, Jameson Fire Department has one and it's in the ambulance and it is a required piece um, in order to safely extricate people down stairwells. Um, we'll certainly need to put a fire radio, a med radio, and have a portable radio be available for that vehicle, so there's some costs that could be expected there. Jamestown Fire Chief Matthew Kuhn goes on to say the second ambulance is necessary to keep up with ever-growing need for EMT services. These are all the calls that we've had over the last few years, right, that we've had to rely on our neighbors to answer for us. So this is really the overflow, and as you can see, it has been increasing steadily since 2019. I've got no reason to believe that a number will not exceed 500 by the time we get to the end of this year. While there is not always a Jamestown ambulance available, crews are still expected to be on scene. So even if a mutual aid agency is coming in, a piece of Jamestown fire department equipment should be going to that call also. So our own providers are there to do first response, just like we do with All Star. In addition to the second ambulance, lawmakers also looked at a proposal to add eight new firefighters to the roster which would ultimately operate the new vehicle. While the increase in personnel would help, the chief says it's not necessarily connected. Having the additional personnel is certainly gonna make this process um, go much smoother, as well as not reducing down, obviously, the firefighting force that we have available. Now, both the proposals were passed through public safety, but not through the finance committee, as members wanted more information on the costs of operating an ambulance compared to the revenue that it brings in. Now, if the council does approve the purchase of a second ambulance this month, the fire chief believes that it could be deployed in as soon as two months. Reporting live in the newsroom, Bronson Rasson, WNY News Now.